Husky Hut. This is the first video in our series, Know Before You Go, which covers things you should consider before you take your dog's mushing. The topic of this video is choosing a trail. Finding a good place to take your dog's running can be one of the most challenging things about the sport. This video is by no means a comprehensive guide, but will hopefully help you get started. Where you take your dog running will depend on a few things. If you are running with dogs that are new to pulling, it may be a good idea to choose trails where you are less likely to encounter a large number of distractions. We want to set up our dogs to succeed whenever possible, so it is important to build up their confidence by slowly exposing them to new things. And when you are scouting out trails, try to imagine what the trail will be like on a bike or sled. Plan your route, including how far you will go. When on the trail, note any potential issues like wildlife, cattle, hunters, other off-leash dogs, or blind corners. Many seemingly large issues can be mitigated by either going during off hours, like early morning, or by going with a human partner to help out. If you are bike joring, you can have another person biking out in front of you, acting as bait to give your dog something to chase. When we first started out, we had a lot of success with this training method. We often went with one dog on each bike and the dog behind had a really fun time chasing the dog in front of them. If you are sledding or using a scooter, you can have another person ride in the basket or drive a car in front of you if the trail or road allows it, of course. Tandem sleds are another fun way to have company on the trail while dog sledding. Technically, you can go bike joring on any trail that allows both dogs and bikes. When you are first starting out, we would recommend looking for wide dirt trails. Avoid paved roads as much as possible. Running on them once in a while won't cause harm, but multiple runs on pavement can cause paw soreness and abrasions. Hard surfaces like sidewalk and pavement are also very hard on your dog's joints. If paved trails are your only option, talk to your vet about how to best care for your dog's paws and joints. Trails for dog sledding can be the trickiest to find. In some regions, areas with enough snowpack are very remote or difficult to reach. You may be sharing the trail with cross-country skiers and snowmobiles. Wherever you decide to go, you represent the mushing community. Someone being pulled by dogs is almost always an unforgettable sight. So make sure to be courteous and responsible to those you share the trails with. Resources for finding trails include your region's parks and recreation department, hiking guides, online mushing communities, hunting blogs, or even friendly employees at your outdoor sports outfitter. Please let us know if you have any questions in the comments and give us a like and a subscribe if you thought this video was helpful. Best of luck in your future endeavors. Happy trails.